everybody. We are continuing on our little Iron Thief campaign over here. Well, it's not really a campaign, but playthrough. We're playing on hard mode. Uh, hard mode is hard. <laughs> um, also kind of curious to see that uh, these beavers over here are now currently harvesting everything they can, and they're not planting anything. Might be an issue. Definitely will be an issue. Um, so maybe let's help them out right away by making another farmhouse over there. Priority one before we run into the food issue. I think if you have one farmhouse that's set on harvesting all the time and one farmhouse setting on, on planting all the time, it's going to be good. Um, because then you have the better of both. You can't really put this one on half and half, which is a little bit annoying. Half and half is more or less the thing that you need. But yeah, they, they can harvest all those over there. No issue. But yeah, our food supplies are dwindling fast. Very fast. And we need to get some new carrots. And these carrots over there, this will probably get us through uh, the dry period. But after that, uh, we need to plant some new carrots. And these two guys over here, they're not planting new carrots. They're only picking up carrots. So let's make a new farmhouse right away and plant some new carrots. There we go. You planting. Plunk them down, please. There we go. And then they can operate the tandem. One harvest, one plant. Perfect. Yeah, food is going down fast. Very fast. We might need to think about the potato soon. Um, we could make a little potato farm over here. I mean, I've already said that this area over here will probably all be farming. Um, though I could rather have all of this area to be farming. This over here, I think, will be a little bit more industrial sector. Um... Oh, food is going down really, really fast. The other issue is that they're, they're so far away over there that they have to walk quite a, far, quite a bit. Uh, we do still have the berries over there. Um, and the berry man over here is, is basically not doing anything. We might be able to help him out a little bit by maybe making a little storage somewhere. Mm, have it over there. Try that and die. Perfect. Um... Make this a higher priority. Uh, we're going to be storing berries in there for now. Good. But yeah, I can already see these two other guys over there. They're, they're planting new carrots. And they're pretty, pretty fast about that. Like, super duper fast. Which is really enjoyable. How's this place going over there? This place is going good. Science. Um, we still have a whole bunch of unemployed beavers. That's fine. What are we missing over there? That. Okay. And then we also have the construction plant over there. Perfect. Um, make this the highest priority. Make this the second highest priority. We need more builders. And then this guy over there is eating a whole bunch of the wood over there, which is good. FPS and UPS are still on top, which is really, really nice. Um, oh, this one is there and there. Stop. None of these. This will be berries only. 200 of them. Somebody already put three planks in there. Well, so be it. Good. And we might need to think about the hauling post soon. Good. Oh, yeah. Look at this carrot field. And once they're done planting, they will be helping them with the harvesting. That's going to be good. There we go. There we go. There we go. Okay, we do have a homeless beaver. So be it. So be it. Uh, we might also want to open up these lumberjack uh, places over there again. Because I think we might be out of... Yeah, we are out of logs. Perfect. Start chopping trees again, please. Chop, 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 chop. There we go, there we go. This place is coming together. Uh, we almost have the signs that we need to <coughs> make the sluice. So that's good. And I like how they just built this place over there. Looking forward to that. Oh, you're in. Two more of these, please. 
Yeah, it seems it does stop right over there. So is that the absolute district maximum? It seems it is. Okay. That's good to know. Now, I wonder if we can still um, do crops over the district border. Like, if we put down another berry man over here. Let's put another berry man down over here. Because we're going to need the berries either way. There used to be a berry man over there. We're going to make a new berry man over there. There we go. There we go. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, we need the sluice project right now. Uh-oh. Uh, they'll be fine. They'll be fine. But this was kind of unexpected. This was really unexpected. There we go, there we go. I didn't expect this whole place to dry up again. Man, we got some thirsty beavers. Some very thirsty beavers. But the water will be back. Now, there it comes. Spoosh. There we go. There we go. No trouble over here. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay, we have the bridge connection at least, which is nice. Um, Still kind of scary with all the water over there. Um, Good, 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 good. And then they're probably building this thing over there. This thing requires so many logs. Oof. Oof. How's log production over there? Terrible. <laughs> we might want to do some log production over here, though. Um, hmm. We will have to see. We will have to see. We also have these logs over there still. Uh, we are missing actually quite a bit of logs now that I look at this. And we might want to make a bridge over here, just to get over there faster. Okay, they're working on that. That's been worked on, and then they're working on that. In total, it's like, what is this, one, two, three, six, 180 logs, and then 90 planks plus another 24 logs. Yeah, it should be fine. It should be fine. Good. Food also seems to be working again. We are now in the next carrot cycle, which is great. Berries are not really backing up. I'm not quite sure what the berry man over here is doing, but uh, it might be time for us to start thinking about a hauling post. And let's maybe make it over here as well. There we go. As we do have a whole bunch of beavers here and there that are... Yeah, we need to move our, our stuff around a little bit more. And I'm kind of thinking about when it will be a wise idea to put down something like a log pile. It might be a wise idea to put down a log pile in places where we need a whole bunch of logs for construction because our builders now will have to walk all the way over there, pick up the logs, walk all the way over there, and then put them down over there. If we made the log pile over here, for example, for, for, the, for, for the next dam project, we're not going to do it for this one. For this one, it will be fine. But if we, for example, build a dam over there, something like that, where we need a, lot of, a ton of logs, we should probably make a log pile somewhere close by uh, so that the haulers can bring over the logs and then the builders only have to do the building uh, movement. Which should be fine. Ah, this might be a good example. Um, no, these are within your range. It should be fine. 
you should be chopping those. He's chopping those. Okay. Yeah, this is the other issue. The, 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 um, the constructors are probably picking up blocks from all the way over there, which they are. Yeah, that's a bit of an issue. Speaking of, um, yeah. Let's get rid of these trees over there as well. Good. And then it seems they're building the internals over here first, which I think is fine. Uh, gives us some more signs. We have some more places to live, which is good. Uh, we have up to nine inventors. That should be fine for now. Yeah, this, this is good. This is good. Excellent. Still, wood. Hmm. I guess we're going to make a wood place over here. For now. <laughs> Even though I kind of said this will be an industrial sector. Uh, let's pause it real quick. Why is the road like this? Sorry, I have to fix that. Um, I, I know why the road is like this, because I placed it like that, but uh, still. Oof. There we go. Much better. Much better. There we go. And then... Lumberjack flags. One over there. 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 That'll be fine. Yeah, the next dry period is coming soon already. Uh, let's maybe prioritize the sluices first. I priority, please. Ignore everything over there. We don't need to do anything over there. Just start building on this. Which does require us a good amount of planks, and that might, might be the problem over here. The plank man over here, he's not keeping up. They are bringing all the locks that they need, or can, over there. That's good. But the planks. The planks is going to be the critical compartment over here. Um, well, so be it. So be it. If we want to make another plank machine, um, then let's see. Yeah, Plankman over there is working as efficiently as he can. He's actually making them at a decent rate. Like, I think it's one plank per hour. So, that will be 16 planks per hour. How is the... What? How is the water already this high over here? <laughs> that doesn't make a lot of sense. I mean, I'll take it. No problem, but... Wait. Open. That feels wrong and weird. Like I said, I'll take it. Uh, sure, why not? Um... Probably because it's so, so thin over here. I mean, keep in mind, this is only a width of six, and we have 12 source blocks, so it flows in at double the rate. Uh, uh, the next drive period is just going to come and hit us right away. Good. It's still kind of hard to see in which kind of state these trees are. Uh, I would love if there would be like some kind of intermediate growing state of these trees. <laughs> Just to see when the next tree will be growing over here. Because they go like from the small tree to the big tree like in an instant. Like this one is 2%. This one is, <laughs> this one is 2% grown. This one is 98% grown. Give me something in the middle. Something. Okay, food-wise, I think we're doing better food-wise. I think we're also storing some berries over here now. Perfect. Yeah, the flood is gonna, uh, not the flood, the, the, the drought is gonna hit us. Let's hope it's not too strong. It's gonna be 12 days. 
What the fuck? Uh, we might shrivel up over here. 12 days? 12 days? That's a lot of days. <laughs> That's a whole lot of days. Well, we will definitely finish this project by then, but 12 days? In 12 days, these beavers will drink up this area. Oof. That's a lot of days. Hmm. And there's nothing much I can do about this because this is the only water we have left on the map. And it already looks so freaking low. <laughs> ah, you know what maybe would be a good idea? Maybe just before the drought... Make a sluice over here, and just before the drought, uh, back it up all the way. Maybe let it flood over a little bit. Just so that we have a full lake over here to work with. And not a half a lake. You know? That could be really, really good. But 12 days? Okay, only 10 days remaining, but oof. That's a lot of days. That's a lot of days. Okay, he's missing some locks over here. That's a little bit annoying. So I guess we will be getting the logs as soon as we put in all the logs over there. Ah, uh, it's still 10 days. Oh. <laughs> well, they, they will not starve. That's for sure, certain. But they might just all shrivel up and die. Oof. Can we call, like, half our population? Is that a thing we could do? We, we can actually do that. We're going to do that. Um, uh, let's, where, where's going to be beaver heaven? Maybe over here. I think it needs a road connection or something like that. We're going to call this place um, Cullington. Oh, I've got capsule unlocked. Welcome to Cullington. Okay. Uh, our oldest beavers. <laughs> eh. They're all pretty young, actually. Yeah, how about half of our population? Mike went to Cullington. <laughs> Off you go! <laughs> Welcome to Cullington! Uh, there's nothing to do over here. Just die. Oof. Um, okay, the water pumps are almost all operating. We can probably um, turn down some of these inventors. Let's turn off all inventors. We're not going to need them for now. We do need the plank machine. Uh, we do need the food. We don't need this place. Uh, where are all these people working? District center. Remove two. Farmhouse, forester, gatherer, lumberjacks. There's a whole bunch of unemployed. <laughs> Oops, um, this one over there, this one can go. This one has never been built. Well, let's keep it for now. Let's pause you as well. That should be fine. Yeah, now we're definitely going to survive. <laughs> Oh, 
Oof. Hard decisions. Hard decisions. Well, you guys, you're gonna die a hero. Um, I'm sorry to say, but... Yeah, you've, you've won the culling lottery. You're, you're dying for the greater good. Oh, shit. The water's gone. Never mind. You're all gonna die. Oh, shit. Ah! Why? Ah. Uh... Yeah, it's still like 8.5 days of drought. There's nothing we can do against that. And there's no water left. There's 20 units of water left. One beaver. One beaver. Off to Collington. And then the one beaver that lives in here. What is he doing? He's gathering. He's don't need to gather. He's now working in the district center. You don't need to work in the district center. Actually, no, you do need to work in the district center. Shit. Um, because you need to grow the next generation. <laughs> That's your only job. Grow the next generation. Everybody else, out. Is there? Is there a child in here? Go to Cullington. Child, you have been chosen. Go away. <laughs> ah. Let's pass these as well. So that they don't eat any water. Ah, uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, this might be a wipe. Let's see if we can recover from this. Um, but oof. The moment I say hard mode is hard, we've got this under control. We just get our asses handed to us. Thirteen days of drought. Wow. Ouch. That killed us again. But if we're losing this one, then we're definitely going to play on our ball the next one. Uh, one reason, and oh, he's socializing alone. Oh no, <laughs> poor little guy. Uh, one reason and one reason alone. Um, I want to build something. I don't really want to be struggling with this yet. I mean, I, I like to struggle, absolutely. But I want to build something magnificent, like I already said. And well, art mode is not helping on that. Um, we got at least enough supplies. And a bit of water, so that the guy over here can still continue working. Um, do I want to take a look at Cullington? Oof. <laughs> Oof. <laughs> Oof, I say. <laughs> Oof. Let's not look at Cullington. Oof. Is there a speed 4? I just want to speed to the end. Nine more units of water. Eight more units of water. Six more days to go. He will dry. He will die of drying up. Uh, is there a way for us to, to pause all jobs? Because technically he needs to work this place. Lumberjack flags. No. That's the other thing. He also has to stay alive as long as possible to to uh oh, we don't need this one anymore. To to keep the next generation alive. Um there's still a lumberjack flag around here somewhere. Over there. Okay, now you're working on the deep water pump. <laughs> He's just standing under uh the, the water pump, going like, is there water? Is there water, please? Please. Any water? Please, I'm so alone. How old is he? He's 10. Perfect. He will be fine. <laughs> Oof. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, Cullington is dead, so we can't just get rid of Cullington. 
It never happened. We're going to erase all evidence of Collington. There, there was no Collington. What do you mean? No, no, there was only, there always was only one beaver. There's definitely no housing for 40 beavers over here. Five more days, six more water. Uh, it's going to be a close one. If, if he manages to get to the water, then I think it will be fine. <laughs> but it's going to be a very slow game afterwards. A very slow game. And the drought will just intensify over and over and over. Now, good thing is, um, after well, this, this mass culling, uh, we do need less supplies. So that's going to be good. But oof. <laughs> oof. Uh, we could unpause this one because the first thing the next beaver is going to do is going to be working on the berries. Four more water, four more days. <laughs> Ouch. I'm I'm a cruel overlord. I know, I know. But that's how it is. I mean, at the end of the day, we made the right decision. Uh, if we made any other decision, um, the whole colony would have died. Is he still sitting over there? Yeah, he's just sitting over there waiting for water. The last defender. He Kraybass, age 12, sitting two years on dry, looking at his water barrel, slowly shriveling up over here, hoping that there will be enough water to come, hoping that it will be raining soon again in 3.5 days with four water remaining. This need is not satisfied. The beaver will die. Okay, we might just make it. Might. Oh, he drank too. Uh oh. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> oh. Not looking forward to this. Absolutely not looking forward to this. Three more days. Come on, speed through it. It's going to be first here at the end of the day. Then he's going to drink his last supply. Then at end of day one, he will start to become thirsty. And then let's hope that he can survive for a day without water. <laughs> oh, oh. And then we need him. Then he needs to pump some water. Fill this thing up. And then he's going to need to switch up to the district again to greet these children. <laughs> it's going to be micromanagement land for a while. And there goes the loss of the water. Oh, it's it's not going to be happy for you. Can you, can you drink the child water? Please drink the child water over there. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> Man, hard mode is hard. Love it, though. Love it. But, um, oof. Yeah, you have to be on top of your dam building. If you want to play on hard mode, um, you, you have to be on top of storing tons and tons and tons of water. Like, even, even just making, like, a little sluice over here, like a one height, would have already helped us out more. 1.6 days. Mm, 1.5 days. He's starting to get thirsty soon. I think he will get thirsty at the end of the day. And then he has to survive for a day. <laughs> uh, you got something to eat? Good. That's a good beaver. Socializing alone. Very good. Looking at the babies. Good. And now he's thirsty. It would be nice to see at which point in time he's going to die first. Uh, we're going to have to set this to 24-hour workings because the water will be coming. I'm not quite sure when the water will come, but as soon as the water is there, you got to pump. you got to pump and you got to drink. <laughs> oh, no.
Okay, you cray bass. You got this. Half a day. Whatever you do, do not die. <laughs> Just hold tight. You can do it. 0 0.4 days. Do not die of star of 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 first. Trust me, the water will come. You got this, mate. You got this. Hold it together. He might also get hungry soon. 0 0.1 days. Oh, he ran, he ran, he ran. Where is he? Where did he go? He's over there. You got something to feed? The drought has ended. The water is coming. The water will be here soon. Hold it. Hold it. You can do it. Ah, shit! <laughs> and then he died. <laughs> and here comes the water. Da! <laughs> well, that will be it for today. Um, next time, we're going to play the same map again. I like this map. I want to see... I, I have big plans for this map, but I can't do this plans on hard mode. Not yet. Um, I will definitely do a game on hard mode. Uh, where survival will be of the utmost importance, but oof, a poor little guy, he just died. Good! Um, so, if you like what you're seeing, if you like seeing beavers dry up and shrivel um, and die off first because of my mismanagement, there will be more to come, definitely. Do follow me on twitch.tv slash boltviking. Do leave a subscription, a comment, or a like. Because every one of those actions does help me out on YouTube and it will make help me help my channel grow. And growing my channel is my yeah, I want to grow this channel as much as I can over the next year. Um good, and without further ado, I wish you all a good night. Until next time, see you around!